Hi guys, my name is Vass. Welcome to this tutorial for Live Wallpaper Creator version 2.1. I will be teaching you how to import your live wallpapers into Eclipse. So the first thing you want to do is prepare your environment. Uh, there is no better guide to do this than the guide that you can find at developer.android.com. Uh, you can just look at the URL that I have in my browser right here and go there directly. Now it's not very hard and we will not go in depth but uh, let me just go over it briefly so you have an idea of what to do. There are only uh, a couple of steps. So the first step is to download the Android SDK. You probably probably have already done this if you're using Live Wallpaper Creator. You might just need to update it if you want. It's not, uh, uh, it's not critical. Next, you need to install the ADT plugin for Eclipse. This implies that you have Eclipse installed. So if you want to install Eclipse, just Google it, download it, it's on their website, available free of charge. And then you need to install the ADT plugin that uh, Android provides, and you can get it right here. As you can see, there's a link. Uh, so do that. And uh, finally, you need to download the latest SDK tools and platforms using the SDK manager. This, once again, you probably already have and you just might need to update it. So once you go through that, uh, you are ready to start importing your projects into Eclipse. So let's get to that. Um, the one thing, one difference between version 2.1 and uh, version 2.0 is that 2.1 now produces the source for all of your live wallpaper projects. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. So for example, we have this beer live wallpaper, and we'll go in there. By the way, this is located under your live wallpaper creator folder, archive, your company name, and there you will find all of your projects. So we'll go back in here, and uh, right now 2.0 produces the APK and this 512 image. These are the ones that I just, um, these screenshots, I just made them myself. Uh, now 2.1 will produce something uh, extra. and this is what I mean. So you still get the 512, you still get the APK, but you also get the source folder. That's what you want. And this has all the all the files that you need. Uh, now the one re recommendation that I want to make is uh, make a copy of this on a separate uh, in a separate folder uh, and use that for your Eclipse imports. And the reason for that is that if you want to make changes to your live wallpaper uh, using Live Wallpaper Creator you uh, it will overwrite um, whatever is located in your archive folder so if you made any changes to the source uh, they will be gone once you generate this new version of your live wallpaper using live wallpaper creator so just make a copy we'll go right click copy and I prepared a folder called wallpaper projects on my e drive we'll paste it there you go now let's rename it so that I don't get confused uh, rename. We we'll call it Fire Flower LWP. Perfect. Okay, so you're pretty much ready to go. Next thing you want to do is open up Eclipse. Mine is already open, and uh, once you have it open, you see this Project Explorer tab uh, where you have a bunch of. Well, you won't have any projects, but I have a bunch of projects. And uh, this is what you want to do: right-click, go to New, go to Project and uh, select Android project from existing code because our code already exists. Click Next, go to Browse to look for the root directory and navigate to that folder. And there it is and select your live wallpaper folder. Uh, this is what you will see. Click Finish and this is what happens. Like now this is the folder that we, uh, the project that we imported. It's got this um, long name and it might produce this error for you. Don't worry. I know it's in red and everything, but you don't need to worry about it. It says the uh, project.properties file uh, is not there. It, it actually generates one automatically, so just don't worry about it. So the next thing you want to do is click on your Project Explorer, then go to File, and then go to Refresh. You can press F5 if you want. Now that refreshes the Project Explorer, and now let's rename this project to something more appropriate. To do that, right-click, go to Refactor, Rename, and let's call it Fireflower LWP. Click OK, and there it is. And just to show you, there's the project.properties file. So 
uh, as I promised it does get generated so you're pretty much done this is this pretty much concludes the uh, first part of the tutorial uh, thank you for being with me in the next tutorial I will uh, teach you how to uh, put an advertising code into into your files um, okay well thanks for being with me and I'll see you in the next tutorial take care